Hi all, this is Chris Earl with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be going over the VBA New Line. And the challenge is, is if you want to have text, say a message box, and you want to have that, that message on two different lines, or you want to have a paragraph and then an enter and a space, um, how do you do that? So I'm going to show you just there's three basic ways to do that. I've got my Visual Basic Editor open. I've got a module open. If you don't, you just hit Alt F11 to get here, and you click Add a Module. So we're going to call our sub Line Feed. Um, you can call it you can call it whatever you want. We're going to call it Line Feed. You can call it New Line. But I'm going to show you the three different ways to do this, and just kind of give you a little bit of background. So we're going to go MSG Box. And we're just going to do a simple message box that's just going to be VBOK. So I'm going to type in line one. Okay. Now, what I need to do is I need to put an enter in. And there's three ways to do that. And the first way to do that is we're going to do and VB. And I'm going to hit, uh, I hit alt. I always forget. Uh, but if you're on this right here, if you hit control and then space, it's going to pull up this message box. I'm going to do VB. VB uh, C R L F, right? And what that stands for is carriage, carriage return line feed. So uh, then we're going to go and, and we're going to put a text. Now, what I'm doing is I'm actually adding a character there. And that character is something that always exists, either in Word or any, it, it really anywhere in any Word doc, any um, text document, you just don't see it uh, because the computer says, oh, I got to go to the next line. So I'm going to do line line two and this is going to be and then we're going to go and and I'm going to do VB control space and this is going to be new line so that actually does the exact same thing and finally the last one the last way to do this we're going to go and line three I can't spell line Three. Okay, got it. And this is going to be C H R thirteen. And then we're going to go and and these ands. What this does is it's like it. So in in text, you've got a plus that adds everything together. In strings, which is what we have here, you're just basically taking those strings together. And then I'm going to do line four. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you real quick. If you do an underscore um, and you do an enter, it's going to basically keep that all together in a single line. Now that's one li one line of code uh, because I use that underscore right there. So we are good to go. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit message box and it's going to basically pull all those up and it's going to be a message box with four lines in it. I'm going to hit F8, F8 again and you've got line one, two, three, or four. And so I'm going to show you what this actually looks like in. Um, in a word processor. This is Notepad++. If you haven't ever used Notepad++, I love it for coding um, for a couple reasons. Uh, but really, if I hit this show all characters, you'll see that when I click that, it's going to give me a CR, CRLF, which is a carriage return line feed. And so if you think back to, this is how far this goes back. If you There's your typewriter lessons. Uh, many of you may not have ever seen a typewriter. I actually learned how to type on a typewriter. <laughs> anyway, uh, what happens on those is you would have a carriage return, and that carriage return um, would take you down, right? So that would be the return. Carriage return, uh, or the carriage return would take you back, and a line feed would take you to the next line. So if you ever like, watch a movie from the 50s and they're typing and they go like this and they swing that back, that's basically what they're doing is they're doing a carriage return, right? We're turning the carriage all the way back, and then they're feeding that down as a line feed. So if you uh, if you've ever used a typewriter, uh, just say that you have in the comments. Um, anyway, I hope this is hope this helps you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're liking Everyday VBA. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Facebook as well, and I hope you enjoyed.